Imagine being able to eliminate the need for organ donors or finding a more accurate way to test new drugs. As Elaine Yong reports, cutting-edge research is now being done in Canada that aims to change the way we diagnose and treat potentially deadly diseases. This small little tube represents more than a decade of research, combining cutting-edge bioengineering with cell biology. Throw in a 3D printer and the end result? engineered human lung tissue. Yeah, I definitely think it's a, it's a potential game changer. Aspect Biosystems, based at UBC and St. Paul's Institute for Heart Lung Innovation, is the first company in the country to commercialize 3D bioprinting. It has been able to engineer healthy lung airways and tissue with specific diseases, so pharmaceutical companies can test new drugs. I've been doing a lot of uh, networking and I've uh, met some uh, people that are working on novel drugs, uh, but have no platform. Uh, to test uh, those drugs on, so they're, they're pretty excited. Because these tissues are exactly the same as you'd find inside your own body, behaving the same way. These are those individual hairs moving backwards and forwards. The company's first major project involves testing drugs for idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, a chronic and ultimately fatal lung disease. There is really no effective treatment right now. About 90% of drugs that work in animals actually fail to work in humans and so what we're doing is developing complex models using human cells in the hope that the data we get from these human tissues is far better at translating into those human trials later on. Potentially weeding out ineffective drugs faster, saving hundreds of millions of dollars, and then getting the drugs that do work to full human clinical trials faster. To be like a cancer model, for example. This technology could also help diagnose disease and make personalized medicine a reality by taking cells from a patient, then growing an engineered model in the lab for up-close analysis. Then there's the ultimate goal. Rather than waiting three and a half years for a replacement kidney, which is the current wait time in BC, you could build a kidney in the space of a few weeks and then put it into a patient with their own cells. Eliminating the transplant wait list. Elaine Yong, Global News.